Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephen Nowatarski. If you could do me a big favor before uh, we progress into the interview with model uh, Jenny O'Neill. Um, well, one, I'd like you to subscribe to the channel. It's free. And uh, hit the like button. That helps with the algorithm in YouTube land. And also hit that notification bell. Hopefully you heard that. Um, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Now, questions. If you have any topics or questions, please email me. I'll make sure that I post that here and also uh, my email will be in the show notes. Now, after a long afternoon and photo session uh, with Jenny O'Neill again at MPW Studios, if you're not familiar with that, that studio, it's in Farmington Hills, Michigan. And uh, I had the opportunity to sit down with her and just ask her a few questions. Also, uh, just a heads up on this, I'm also going to post her information at the end of the video with her email information. So if you have an interest in contacting her, uh, that information will be there. I'll also put those in the show notes that should be at the bottom of this video. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started. For those that don't know me, I'm Stephen Otarski, photo artist, and this is Jenny O. And we just got done uh, doing a shoot today, a private shoot. How did it go, by the way? It went great, super fun. You were awesome. It. So um, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant about photographers a little bit, but before I do that, I'm trying to reflect. We met what about a year and a half, two years ago? A year and a half, two. Yeah, I was okay. going to say the same. And we did uh, some different shoots, some were at class shoots. I'm going to post those uh, on the video so you can see different things. I'm trying to think. We did one at the studio. We did, I don't know if it was a test shoot with Mari with yeah. you that we were goofing around. Yeah, you were at my test shoot and for sure. And we we're at a farm. I don't know if it was a farm or a ranch with the horses. Yeah, oh, that was great. And then Avant Garde. That was just yeah. a few weeks ago and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so this is the first time we've actually worked one on one. My. Um, big rant before we get into anything is um, as a photographer, I want to talk about why I chose her uh, as a model. And a, a disclosure, I paid her for the shoot, which I think photographers should do, okay? Because in my opinion, if I need a, a, a model for a shoot, I'm paying for that model for the shoot because I need her for my project. If a model needs me for something, they're going to have to pay for me. If we need each other, we get married. No, that was creepy. No, we don't. So there would be, what do they call that? Uh, if you're doing stuff for both. Uh, TFT, T TFT. Trade for trade friends. For, yeah. So, I mean, as I know people do that. I've done it and stuff like that. But I think it's really important that photographers need to do a long-term project. And uh, you're going to need a good model. And so, in my opinion, you should be hiring uh, that model. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Totally. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's my little bit of a rant. Now, let me explain why I chose her for this special shoot. I'm building a composite, and I needed like a warrior type look and feel. She has an incredible wardrobe of stuff. And I've seen pictures from the past from other shoots you've done. So that was one reason why I selected her. The other one, um, I just can't explain it, but it is right there, the eyes. She just has... Uh, wait till you see some of the shots. Just the look. It's, it's a killer look. So she just has that. Thank you. She's easy to work with, which is great. Um, were you on time? Ten minutes early. Yeah. See, that's a big deal. So communication. Did I communicate with you? You did. Is what we were going to do? Yep. He, he sent me a, uh, a whole workup with some example photos, what to bring, what not to bring. Right. And so I think that's important that you communicate to the... Uh, to the model what you want to do for that shoot and send some examples and I gave her an outline for what we we're going to do for this afternoon. The other thing is um, did I give you any feedback as I was shooting? Yeah. Of course sometimes I swear. When I shoot. <laughs> that, that's happened. It's like I'm doing a shoot and I look at it and I'm like, damn! And somebody says is there something wrong? I go no nah, look at that. That is like awesome. This is great. So yes or no? Did yeah, you yeah, and it's super helpful to get a little bit of feedback like mid shoot, so you know like where to make corrections, right. what's working, what's not. I think working. that's so important. I mean, 
Could you explain what would happen if I never said anything? If I was just shooting, pause, shoot, pause, and nothing was coming out of my mouth, what goes through your head? Um, I feel like my brain gets pretty stale pretty quickly. Like I'll kind of lose track of what, I, what I'm aiming for a little bit. And Why I also feel like a little... Why are you talking to me? Good posture. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I've heard that what goes through your head a lot is... Is this stuff coming out okay? Am I doing a good job? What's yeah. going on? You know, and then I think it's important. Like I'll stop once in a while and I will show her the back of my camera on things that just sort of hit me. Like, oh man, look at you! You know, it's yeah. like. So she did a, again an incredible job. Now let me ask you this: What do you look for in a photographer? Somebody calls you up and says, "I think I want to shoot you." What do you what do you, what do you do? Um, uh, if it's somebody I've never worked with before, I try and get references first, okay. like see if they've worked with anybody I know, you know, make sure they're on the up and up because a lot of photographers aren't. Um, and if they are, I kind of look at what they've done before and if I like what they've done before. Um, I also like working with photographers who have an idea for what they want already, but are also willing to work outside of that a little bit and do other things as well and keep right. an open mind. But having like a specific idea is really helpful. Now, do you think there's any um, creepy photographers out there? Um, yes, <laughs> lots okay. of them. <laughs> and just, and, well, I've worked with quite a few models over the last couple of years, which is new to me because I, I generally do children stuff, family stuff, right? Yeah. So this is new because I got recruited by Midwest Photography Workshops, so I've been exposed to that and working with models. But um, I've witnessed this with photographers, and I just want to get your opinion. If I was shooting you, and I go, oh, baby, that's hot. Oh, sweetheart, that is gorgeous. Oh, that's my for God. the viewer of the photograph, not the photographer. <laughs> I mean, that is freaking creepy, right? It's super creepy. But yeah. yet, I've seen models that just love that stuff. Now, that's not most. Most don't like that, but I'm thinking, that is creepy. So watch your language with models. Let's keep it professional. Um, because you want to work Super with them again, important. right? If you have a bad experience, you're never going to work with that photographer no. again, right? No. So, um, I think a big one on that is like comments about the model's body. Like you don't want to be like making comments about. Did I ever do about, that to you? No, absolutely not. But I'm just saying something that I look out for is like creepy behavior is people who are commenting on like your body or like what your it's yeah. TNA. Yeah. We talked about that before. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I've been approached, not, not physically approached, but emailed and stuff by, and uh, on Facebook, messaged with different models who they want to shoot with me. And when I go look at their portfolio, their work, I'm going, I don't say no to them. I'm saying, hey, I'm really sorry, I'm busy, catch with me next year or something like that. And it's all TNA BS stuff. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want nothing to do with that, you know. But no. uh, yet they're out there, and some people like that. So it's like, you know. Uh, I prefer classy. It's just me. So, Same. all right. So, um, hey, thanks a lot. Thank Good you. Job. It was super fun. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try interviewing different models I've worked with before. That uh, seems great. I'm actually gonna pull Rochelle in here one time. Rochelle, I call her the mother hen. For you that don't know, she oversees the models. The models yeah. call her that too. Yeah, the models Model call mom. her. <laughs> What's cool about her is that at a, at a shoot, she's laying down the work and goes. No touching the models. You know, it's like, and yes. I don't care if you're a female shooter, because I've seen that happen. And one of the women were coming up to the model to move something, and yeah. Rochelle don't jumped right in there. Do permission. not touch. We're trying to keep you know everything safe and nothing uh, personal like that. So anyhow, yeah. all right. Thanks again. Thank you. Super fun. Hopefully this came out. <laughs>